Zechariah chapter 8. <clears throat> I love that we're not on no time schedule. You know, we don't have to finish a chapter one day. We take it as it comes and study as it goes. Again, the word of the Lord of hosts came to me, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, I was jealous for Zion. Again, every time I, every time I read that, I think about a pastor I sat under who came up with a message, you know, jealousy is a sin. Well, then, you, you call God a sinner. That even in the law, it prescribed a man, a husband, if the spirit of jealousy came upon him. There is a good, healthy jealousy. And if a man or a woman doesn't have that jealousy of each other in their relationship, Things have gone cold because God is jealous over his own people. And they have churned against him. Knows how it says was, past tense. They're in the land again. All the jealousy we read about is in Jeremiah. With a great jealousy. And I was jealous for her with great Theory. The Lord had been violated by his bride, and God's bride is Israel. The bride of Jesus is the church. And I guarantee the condition that the church is in today, Jesus is much jealous. Because the church is outright committing adultery with the world as Judah was committing adultery with the world and Israel. So the fact is when you study the Old Testament you also see the New Testament, the church. <clears throat> that as Israel went into captivity, as Judah went into captivity for their sin, there came a time that God said, that's it, I'm done. Well, <clears throat> In the church age, there's going to be a period, it's, it's it, it's done, it's over. Son, you better get those, you better get them up here right now, I'm telling you, right now. And as I've said before, I believe the rapture of the church is not, oh, it's the glory to God, here they are, but, you know, that may have been Paul, Peter, the early church, but the lie to see in church age, it's like, I think at the time that God is about to judge the lad see in church age at the judgment seat of Christ, I think he's going to get some new 9-volt batteries where all the smoke detectors are going to go off. So thus saith the Lord, I am returned unto Zion, second advent. We'll see in a moment why we it's not today. It's not Ezra and Nehemiah time. And we'll dwell in the midst of Jerusalem. You mean Jerusalem, February 2022? They're marching around the streets in sodomite, uh, flag, sodomite dress, men kissing men, women kissing women? You think God's in the midst of that with the dumb of the rock? You really think that's holy? The Holy Land? What are you going to do with what God did to Psalm Gomorrah in the neighborhood cities? That was so wicked, God sent two angels. God himself didn't go in. At least with the Tower of Babel, God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit let us... They, they went in and looked at the place. <laughs> I 
He said, yeah, the reason why I say that because you got Christians there. Oh, the Holy Land, the Holy Land. No, 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 it's not. And you're so stupid. I hear these people. You know, we paid the Arabian, we paid the Catholics to give us a tour. Uh, can I give you your stupid sign now? You know, I can't say stupid on, on, I can't call people stupid on Facebook. I get a notice that I offended people. And that it violates the state. I got to put S space, T space, I better not, because if they find out how I'm doing it now, they'll probably catch on. But you're stupid. You don't know the Bible. And the more education, listen, you know what I've seen today in the world, I know I'm bright. The more education these people have, the, the stupider they're getting. They don't even know what sex they are. I am returned to Zion and will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem. Will dwell. Future. Not Zechariah time. Jerusalem shall be called the city of truth. You think that's the city of truth today? How about, how about the city of truth when the priests and the high priests and the Sadducees and the scribes and the Pharisees led the people to crucify their Messiah? City of truth? Uh, what was it that Pontius Pilate said? What is true? See you, Jesus. And then turned over the truth, the way, and the life over to be crucified. And the mountain of the Lord of hosts, that's... Zion, the temple, the holy mountain. <laughs> ain't holy right now. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, that's everything. There shall be, I mean, there shall yet old men and old women. They don't call them the elderly. They're called old. Aged. Shall dwell in the streets of Jerusalem. They're going to live in the street. We're seeing today homeless people. Their life is going to be in the streets. There's going to be security. There's going to be peace. You won't need the police. It's going to be activity. Every man with a staff in his hand for very age. That's what he's walking with a cane. And the streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls. Oh, gee, they know what sex they are. It doesn't say in between or 40 other distinctive things. It says a male, it says a female. Playing in the streets thereof. Now, we're going to come back to that. We're not going to leave that alone. Thus save the Lord of hopes, everybody, everything. God of creation, all the creation. Genesis 1. If it be a marvelous in the eyes of the remnant of this people, Israel, Jews, Judah, in these days, today, right now, as Zachariah's writing, should it also be marvelous in my eyes, save the Lord of hosts? <clears throat> they're going about, they're building the temple, and they're trying to get things right, they're trying to rebuild. That pleased God. Wait till Jesus Christ rebuilds. Wait till they resettle. Wait till they are brought into the land, not by Joshua, according to what the, some of these King James Bibles say, but according to Jesus Christ. Let's say the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will, future tense, save my people. The only way they can be saved right now is through the blood of Jesus Christ. And if they don't believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved, a Jew will die, a Gentile will die, and go off into hell. From the East Country and from the West Country. Now see that salvation there is not eternal salvation, that's hey, I'm going to bring you from out under the world. I, hey, if you're in America, I'm going to bring you out of America and I'm going to bring you into your promised land. 
I don't care what Wall Street's doing. I don't care about L.A. and all that. You're coming out of America. You're coming back. I will bring them. They shall dwell in the midst of Jerusalem. That's their city. That's their land. They shall be my people, the Jews. I will be their God. <laughs> They're set apart right now. They're on the shelf as a nation, corporate. If God's in the midst of Jerusalem and Israel today with all the sin and wickedness, you got a worldly carnal God called Satan. That's not my God. In truth and in righteousness. That's not today. The moment you see a Catholic walking around doing or saying something according to the Catholic tradition, that's not the truth. If you were to have a JW over there trying talking to the people, you ain't getting the truth. You get a worldly carnal Baptist, Southern Baptist, whatever kind over there. Oh, yeah, we'll pay our money. That's not the truth. I, I talked to one time, we went over there and we went to the tomb of Jesus and all that. I said, Did you step out of the city of Jerusalem? Well, no, right there in Jerusalem. Is, the Bible says he was killed outside of Jerusalem. Like how the offering, all the waste of the offering on the altar was brought to it outside the city and dumped. Now, we got a word here. Verse 5. It says, the streets of the city should have full of boys and girls playing in the streets thereof. Now, you know what we've got a problem with in the Bible? You're going to say, oh, no, Stiley, we got modern Bibles, we got NIVs. Got... No, that's not the problem. You can get off the floor now. We have a problem in the Baptist Church that we want to Americanize the Bible. And I see the sad thing is the Baptist Church will send missionaries over to foreign lands and instead of bringing them to the gospel of Jesus Christ, they will bring them to Americanization. I was in part with the church where we had shoe boxes to send over and we got yelled at as a family because we put Bibles in gospel tracts but, you know, other people put crayons and coloring books and shoelace and whatever. And then you see some of these missionaries and they got, you know, the, 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 the people who've never been in, introduced to this culture and they're singing American songs, of American tone, American way, and even the American Bibles of Alexandria, Egypt. And as I wrote yesterday in Genesis, how this ark encounter, well, you know, we use the cubic, we use a certain amount of inches and all that. I gave you six different measurements of the cubic. And I showed you when we lay it out, well, this is different from that, that's different from that rabbi, that rabbi is different from that rabbi, that rabbi is different from that rabbi, and that's different from the ark encounter. A vast difference. Now, who on earth told you to change the cubic into inches? And I gave you modern Bibles that did it. One modern Bible even went so far to give you the metric. The metric is a new measurement. The Holy Spirit said cubic. We have no idea what a cubic is, uh, but the Ark Encounter and all these other people know what a cubic is. We Americanized the Bible. I, I won't give you money to go to the Ark Encounter because that's not the Bible. I got shortchanged by a certain amount of inches by because you don't know what the 
I got short change if you go pay. The Bible says they pitched it inside and out. And I told you in my report that, oh, they didn't pitch it because it would be too messy. Then that's not the ark. And as far as your, I think I said it was 30 bucks, you can go to the petting zoo. Noah did not have a petting zoo. Noah got on the ark and preached to the people, judgment's coming. They don't preach it. What, what, what would they do if I go over there? And I got my, my amplification. I stood on the property of the ark encounter. And I started preaching the gospel. I started preaching about hell. I wonder how long before they called the cops and shoved me off their property. I would say, Your Honor, in this script, this is right here Noah preached righteousness, First Peter. We Americanized the Bible, and we're not. America and the Hebrews is too far different. So we got playing. And you would think that they got hopscotch and basketball. They're playing stickball. And, and Can I do what we're supposed to do with the Bible? Can I not go scripture with scripture? And we're going to look at all the places in the Bible we find the word playing. P L A Y I N G. Let's see what the Bible says. I think there's seven places we need to go. And we will see what God says about playing and not what America will say about playing. And the fact is, in America, with the commercialism, if all of a sudden if a law was put forth by the President of the United States to say that all toys, all children's games, anything that a plaything of a child is now free, and they can have whatever they want at any time they want. Well, you know what would happen to Americanism? You could, you could, wouldn't need advertisement no more because you couldn't make money off advertisement. You, you wouldn't have a special thing for Christmas to sell all your junky toys. America would get rid of it right away because they wouldn't make no money. If you can't make money on it, we don't want it in America. So, what we're going to look at is we're going to look at the Bible definition of playing. And you're not going to see construction trucks. You're not going to see dolls and hula hoops and balls. We're not going to see that. We're going to take the Bible and we're going to show you what these children are doing. Now, you know what your typical Baptist is going to do? They're going to turn it off right now because they don't want the truth. I can tell you right now, I'll give you the names of two pastors. Tim and Bob. When I told them about Easter and Christmas being paid, oh, I don't care about that. We're going to still do it. When I'm going to tell you what the Bible says about playing, oh, no, no, no. Children need to play. Children need to have toys. Now, I'm speaking from also... Being in three churches and five VBSs. Where the children have to have more play than they have to have Bible. Where in VBS you got to take attendance before and after they come. You got to have snack time. You got to have a craft time. You got to have a red team, blue team, boy team, girl team. And then you get earned points that you can go out in the bouncy house or on the seesaw. And don't tell me, you call my family, we've been witnesses to it. I am a doctor of theology, and I had one of the BBS. I got to go by the teeter-totter and make sure everybody played right at a Baptist church in Ormond Beach, Florida. Where the pastor, oh, King James Bible, but you're not going to get a mansion.
That's why we left that church. You see, the children in the Baptist church, they're going to have play toys. I know a church that broke up because a family came in and, oh, we got to have, we got to put a playground. I put it, they spent all this money for the playground and then <laughs> the ones with the kids left. We're going to look at the scriptures in a moment. And what I'm going to show you right now is the Baptist church, what we're going to look at right now, many Baptist churches, you will not see what we're going to study. Now there's two roles of the word plain in the Bible. One is Baptist, and one is Bible. Now some of you are going to be, oh brother, I'm sticking along just to see what this idiot's going to say. Okay. Leviticus. Not much scripture to look at, but I think it's seven of Leviticus 21. Before you go in there, you check the scriptures because guess what? The daughter of any priest. Now, you know what your typical Baptist will do? He'll run to Revelation chapter 1 and say, you know, look, we're priests. And we're kings. Okay. We are priests. We offer up prayers for people. Okay? So the daughter of any priest, even though this is Old Testament, but okay, we'll spiritualize it. If she profaned herself by playing the whore. You know what they're now teaching kids right now? You know, you know, you know these communities and schools right now? I'm seeing of street preachers putting out there. They want the children to learn how to be, and learning from drag queens. They're taking little girls and they're showing them how to dance on a pole. They're taking little boys, dressing them up as girls and showing them how to strut their stuff. It's going on in 2022 and God... You don't want me to say the next word, America. And I'm not going to say blessed. I just say, God, judge America. For what you're doing with DCF, Department of Children and Family, you're allowing these children to learn. How to be whores. Look, she prof profaneth her father, she shall be burnt with fire. You're to execute those drag queens. You're to execute those who are claiming the children to be whores. In the Baptist churches, you are playing with the children to sell themselves up. Come on, little Johnny, now. You tell us your memory verse and you get a Tootsie Roll. And little Johnny said, well, I don't care about the memory verse. I want the Tootsie Roll. So I'm going to learn the memory verse just so I can get the Tootsie Roll. And little Johnny doesn't learn the memory verse. He gets a Tootsie Roll. He gets to heaven. He goes, where's my reward? It was a Tootsie Roll, Johnny. You want the name of that church too? The pastor named James? Don't make me start naming last names. And by the way, these names I'm saying, if that just got you upset, you're the guilty one. I have one pastor tell me, well, I want the people tell me the pastor. I am telling everybody, well, no, I am not. Now I am. But look at that play. That's playing a whore. I hope you and your Baptist children are not playing a whore. There's, that's the first time the word playing shows up in the Bible. First time a word shows up, that sets the standard. And when we Americanize the children, not Christianize the children, we are turning them into whores. You will have your famous girl doll, and I don't know if I can give the name, but she will be a drag queen pretty soon. Her and her boyfriend, not going to mention his name, they will probably switch sexes pretty soon. Though they don't have no part. When they first came out, he had his little part. And then parents got all upset and they cut it off. Pretty soon the famous doll will be a male and the famous doll will be a female. But they were a female and a man. And she will fall in love with her girly friends. And he will fall in love with his manly friends. You watch. 
and you watch the, the scenes and the activities, she won't be a vet no more. She'll come with a bed, maybe a little cash register. Maybe they got him out now. I don't know. I mean, that, that's that's playing a whore. First Samuel. Scripture with Scripture, King James Bible. Chapter 16, verse 18. We're looking up the word playing. Saul has been given an evil spirit by God. And since there's no electricity, Saul says, I, I can't turn my radio on. I'm in California. There's no power. He says in verse 18, he says in verse 17, find me a man that can play well. All right, he has his little green action figures. And he's got his dump trucks and his marble. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That's Americanizing. Verse 18, then answered one of his servants and said, Behold, I have seen a son of Jesse, that's David, a Bethlehemite that is cunning, that's smart. You know, the English language has gotten worse. That means he's smart, he's educated, he's knowledgeable in playing. Okay, there's our word. A mighty man of valor, a man of war, and prudent in manners and comely person, the Lord is with him. Now, look at verse 17. He found me someone that could play well. What is this playing? Well, later on we learn when the evil spirit shows up. Verse 23, 16, 23. And it came to pass when the evil spirit from God was upon Saul, David took a harp and played with his hand. This playing is a musical instrument. Now, what does the Baptist Church do today? Oh, my daughter's going to get there and sing, pop a CD in, do karaoke for Jesus. I can tell you, Southern Baptist Church, they do karaoke for Jesus. It sounds like rock and roll. It's called bluegrass. Bluegrass is for the toilet facilities and your front lawn. This plane is when you take a child, as David, who is a child, and you give him a music musical instrument, and he learns how to play that musical instrument for the glory of God. Whitney Houston came out of a Baptist church. She used to sing in the choir. She gave her glory to God. Then she gave it all to the devil. There's a family right now, I hope they're still doing the glory of God. Each of the, of the children, as far as I know, all know musical instruments, and they play it all for you. My church, I am completely satisfied that, that we have a flute player, we have somebody who plays another horn, I don't know what that horn is, we got another who, who plays, and, and we even have, have has an electric guitar, oh my, but he's playing it for Jesus, and we have a beautiful piano player that gets up there and plays it, not Jizaz and Juga and Dancy Wancy, but plays it cunningly for God. That's the kind of playing we're looking for. Now, please pay attention to the playing of First Samuel 16. It's a person who's doing a musical instrument, finds someone who can play, and there's a man that is playing, and he's played. Knows the word and the suffix. Okay. First Chronicles. First Chronicles. I hope that's fifteen. I hope. Twenty nine. Sometimes my writing scares me. All right. Fifteen twenty nine. First Chronicles. And it came to pass as the ark that involves God of the covenant of the Lord came into the city of David, that's Jerusalem, 
Michael, the daughter of Saul, looking out at the window, saw King David dancing and playing. David is in the street dancing and playing for the Lord and the ark entrance into the city of David, Jerusalem. I think right now you know where I'm going with this. We found a whore playing. We found two places where playing is a musical instrument, and even David did it for the glory of God, that, that evil spirit. And then here he is, he's doing it for the Ark of the Covenant that they're finally bringing in right. Look at verse 27, he got the singers, he got the songs. David playing an instrument. Psalm 68. Psalm 68.25 Singers went before, okay? Be before the players, okay, it's on instruments. All right, we have two places, three places now. We found a musical instrument. We didn't find darts and a bow and arrow and a BB gun. Followed after. And it's all for God. Look at verse 24. Among them were damsels, young ladies, playing with timbrels. This playing is with a timbrel. We had a plane with a harp. We had a plane of some kind of musical instrument that we didn't know what it was that David played or was known for playing. You see, we're doing scripture with scripture. Have we found toy trucks? Have we found turtles and, 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 and space fighters and all that? Two more places. Jeremiah. Chapter 2. Verse 20, I hope. Jeremiah 2.20 For the old time I have broken thy yoke and burst thy bands. Now we're not talking about a musical group here. We're talking about handcuffs. It says, I will not transgress when upon every high hill and every green tree thou wanderest. Plain, there's our word, the harlot. That's the whore in, in, Le in Leviticus. Right, now we've come, we got one more verse to look at. We've seen two cases of playing. We've seen a whore, a harlot, and a whore. And we've seen a musical instrument being played for God. The two places where we see harlotry and whore, it angers God. Ezekiel. <coughs> Ezekiel 16. 41. If you're watching this on on YouTube, you can see the Bible verse. Check me out. Ezekiel 16, 
Ezekiel 16.41, They shall burn thy houses with fire. Execute judgments upon thee in the sight of many women. I will cause thee to cease from fleeing the harlot. There's one other place for the word plain. We'll get there in a minute. Tell me, how can you get the Americanizing plain games and fun? And I've heard Baptist churches, you know, we're, we're going to have this fun. We'll, we'll be playing some games. Scripture with Scripture. All right, last place. That last place. Zechariah. Hey. Now, in what we've learned so far, Scripture with Scriptures, 8-5. The streets of the city. Now, this is the second advent. This is the millennium. There is Jesus Christ, Okay. The streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls. Jerusalem, the city of David. Playing in the streets there. What do you think they're playing? The scripture that we just did. Would you think they're playing the whore? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. That's your Baptist American church is playing the whore. And the only reason why the companies want you to buy those toys for their children, your children, is so they can get rich. It's called Americanism. That's called, you know, capitalism. I would take the scriptures as given what we learned today. Seven, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven verses. I would take the fact is playing in the streets is they have musical instruments and they are dancing. And according to what we learned with Miriam, after Pharaoh and the Egyptian army died, the girls are dancing with the girls and the men. David, bringing in the ark, is dancing with the men. There's no mixed dancing involved. Have you ever seen videos of the festivals and the celebration and the galore of the feast days in Jerusalem. I mean, they're 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 marching around, they're dancing, they're leaping, they're jumping. They they got the musical instruments. They're, they're going around in circles, and the women and the men. And it, that is biblical playing. America playing is, you know, you got the little wooden blocks to today. You got guns and video games that promote killing cops and killing others. And your typical Baptist church today, they don't have anybody who plays, according to the scriptures, a musical instrument. They pop in a CD, do karaoke, and they're all dressed up. It was a church the other day, and I put there just to see what their choir and my door is. I thought you were playing one of those. Oh, that was the church that we were in. And they're all up there bebop. That's not playing for the Lord. That's flesh. Paul says the flesh and the spirit tangle with each other. They're at enmity with each other. Churches today, they put them together. They try to put them together. You can't mix oil and water. That's the biblical plane. Now, many of you, if this thing come all the way through, you're going to say, I don't care what you say, I'm going to do what I'm going to do. That's fine. Judgment seat of Christ is coming. Great white throne is judgment is coming. The Bible's right, and you are wrong.